Greetings. Welcome to the second edition of News You Should Know, but probably don't. Why don't you know it? Well, it could be because you got your own life to live. You're concerned with bills. In that case, I got you. It could be because the mainstream media, the main slime media, doesn't feel that these stories are worth your time. They'd rather let you know about Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg or Jake Paul. By the way, <laughs> quick, quick tangent. Um, did anyone watch that fight, that Nate Diaz, Jake Paul fight? Did Nate Diaz throw a single punch that had any power to it, that whole fight? Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to step to you, Nate. You would, you would dust me up. You would dust me up, Nate. I actually think I have a better chance against Jake Paul than Nate in a street fight. What were those punches you were throwing, bro? You did still almost knock him out in the eighth or ninth round, which is, I mean, I mean, it's good for you, Nate. It's like, Jake, it's time to fight a real boxer again. Oh, and congrats to both fighters. I hope they got that bag. It's all love. Um, but yeah, those punches did not look very powerful. I'm just saying. I don't know if I'm the only one. All right, here's to the news. Should know, but probably don't. Um, let's start off with the fact that Goldman Sachs is leveraged 100 to 1 in the derivatives market. And we're talking to the tune of $50 trillion. So for, for, for those that don't know, derivatives, it's like um, synthetic CDCs. I'll show, you know what, let's throw this clip in from the big short. Okay, so here's how a synthetic CDO works. Let's say I bet 10 million on blackjack. 10 million because this hand is meant to represent a single mortgage bond. Okay, Selena has a pretty good hand here, showing 18, dealer showing seven, that's a really good hand for Selena. Good odds, in fact, your chances of winning this hand are 87%. So, my odds are good. I'm on a winning streak. Everybody in this place wants to get in on the action. How could I lose, right? Now, this is a classic error. In basketball, it's called the hot hand fallacy. A player makes a bunch of shots in a row. People are sure they're gonna make the next one. People think whatever's happening now is gonna continue to happen into the future. During the real estate boom, markets were going up and up, and people thought they would never go down. So people who are watching and think that I won't lose will make a side bet. Now, this is the first synthetic CD. I love Selena Gomez. I bet you 50 million she wins, and I'll give you a three to one odds. Three to one odds? Okay, I'll take that bet. Now, somebody else is going to want to make a bet on the outcome of their bet. That will lead to synthetic CDO number two. Hey, I bet you 200 million that lady in the glasses wins that bet. She probably will win. So I want a great payoff. How about 20 million? Deal. And this will go on and on with more and more synthetic CDOs. And we can transform an original $10 million investment into billions of dollars. Okay? No. I actually feel pretty sick. Oh. That's what, that's what a derivative market is. Essentially, you're, you're, you're betting on top of money. You're creating extra money out of nothing, which is based, essentially, that's the fiat money system anyways. We shouldn't be surprised that they're doing this. Here's the issue, okay? Um, they're leveraged 100 to 1 to the tune of 50 trillion to half a trillion dollars in the derivatives market. Goldman Sachs has been sued and fined uh, like hundreds of billions of dollars over the last two decades for malpractice. We're talking fraudulent accounting practices, insider trading, every sort of financial crime you can think of, they have committed. And we trust these guys to be leveraged 100 to one with our money. Do I need to remind y'all what happened in 2008? I know I don't, because we're still paying for it. And by the way, your house is not worth that much. I hate to tell you that, your house is not worth what they're telling you it's worth. Goldman Sachs leading the way yet again. Can't wait to watch them bring down our economy yet again. And I can't wait to bail them out again. They really learned their lessons last time, didn't they? No, they didn't. Pretty grim, frankly, pretty grim. How has the US government, which, which, which lords over us as individuals, oh fucking, you missed, you're a day late on your credit card payment. How have they allowed? Goldman Sachs to leverage themselves to this extent. I'll tell you how, because Goldman Sachs are the ones making the rules and Wall Street, it's not the politicians. Canada, Canada, you know the country I'm from that I live in right now? You know, the country that's banning news outlets and all sorts of fun stuff. They're trying to take our organs, They're trying to take unvaccinated organs. Let, let, let me explain. In order to receive an organ transplant in Ontario, Canada, you have to be fully vaccinated. So I did talk to a friend of mine who's a nurse and she explained 
that, you know, there's certain, there's certain things medically that may be the reason for that. Like this, this is, may not be as malicious as it seems. Um, apparently she was saying, uh, unvaccinated person, person's body may not be able to receive a vaccinated person's organ, uh, which may be true. I am not a doctor. Um, she gave some other nuanced reasons. I'll put them right here. Thank you for adding some nuance to this horribly concerning issue. Garnet Harper, um, Ontario man living in Sudbury, Ontario, unvaccinated, um, was allowed to die. He was denied a kidney transplant which is tragic. Um, and after he died, the doctors actually had the nerve to ask for his organs. They said, can we have those organs now that you're dead? So let me explain how that comes off to the rest of us that are not in the medical world. You're harvesting organs. You are fucking allowing people to die and then taking their organs. That's how it comes off. That's just me. That happened back in July. Uh, again, I want to reiterate, if you are unvaccinated in Ontario, you are not eligible for organ transplants. So if you have organ failure here, you should leave. And I hate that that's what it's come to, but you really should leave and go to another country um, where they will treat you because they are just going to let you die here and then they're going to snag your organs. Anyways, <laughs> what a great time to be Canadian. I'm fucking ashamed, to be honest. It's, it's honestly shameful. Please, if there is uh, some medical people watching, doctors, nurses, uh, paramedics, any one of y'all, please feel free to comment uh, and, and shed some light on this horrific revelation that we are just letting Canadian citizens die. On to the last and, 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 and equally concerning fucking piece of news, a Chinese bio lab. Found in, in California. Hey, can, let's go over quickly. What does China have here? They have, they have spy shops. They got police stations. They got bio labs. China, you got every, it's already China. We've already lost. They're already here. They set up shop, dog. But this lab, this illegal lab that was operating in secret, which officials were able to find uh, last week or two weeks ago in California, run by Chinese, just to reiterate, they had over a thousand mice. These mice, were engineered to catch and carry COVID. In case you didn't hear me correctly. They found a Chinese bio lab in California with a thousand mice engineered to catch and carry the disease. And you're telling me we're not under attack. You're trying to tell me we're not under attack. That's adorable. That's cute. So they did. The only reason they found it is because an inspector saw a garden hose hooked up to a warehouse that, that shouldn't be. And he, he decided to follow that just like a good little Scooby-Doo inspector that he was. scooby dooby doo You just picture them discovering a Chinese bio lab pulling the mask off and it's just the Chinese guy. But anyway, so you can, you can follow the dots. It's a prestige biotech. They, they determined where the owners, however, they can't really find any California-based address for that company. It's obviously just a shell corporation for the CCP. God bless you. I mean, that's three stories that I doubt you know, but now you do. And I'm sorry that I have to break that to y'all. Chinese bio labs in California, organ harvesting in, Can in, in Canada, and extreme financial uh, illiteracy by one of the biggest banks in, in America. And that's the week in a nutshell, my friends. Oh, oh, okay, you know what? Let's try and end on a little piece of good news. They're, they're working on a cancer pill. It apparently annihilates tumors. Um, they're gonna be going forward uh, with human trials. And this is, this is medication that's been in the works for 20 years, so it's not some hack job. Of course, I would be remiss if I failed to mention that uh, Cuba's had a, a COVID, or sorry, <laughs> Cuba has had a cancer vaccine for a decade that they are giving to their people. That Why don't we have that would be a question. Uh, and then we could get into cancer rates across the world, but we don't wanna go that deep. We're trying to end on good news, okay? Not that the US and Canada and North America in general is riddled with cancer, probably because of the terrible food we eat and the fact that we've allowed our corporations to poison our water, you know, 
But there is potentially some, some silver linings there because they, they're going to maybe release the cancer cure that they probably have had for decades already. They're going to let us have some of it now. Thank you. Is that good news? I, don't, I can't even tell anymore. But that is <laughs> this week's news in a nutshell, fam. Uh, thank you, as always, as we continue to grow. I'm hoping after this video, we'll, uh, we'll be close to 5,000 subs on YouTube. Of course, we got over a million on Insta and TikTok. The army continues to grow. Um, yeah, stay safe, stay informed, and uh, don't drink the water. Uh, don't move to Ontario if you're unvaccinated, and don't uh, invest with uh, Goldman Sachs. Take care.